farmers in the country are adopting genetically modified uh, seedlings uh, to boost food production in the country. Although there are concerns over safety and cost, agricultural groups say the technology can reduce hunger in the country and that they are seeking uh, government investment. Some agricultural experts say adopting uh, biotechnology can help the farmers cope and so guaranteed yield even with limited land and other advanced conditions. Here's more details of that in this report. A ring baller is applying fertilizers to his cabbage farm on the outskirts of Jos, a city in the north central region of Nigeria. He says he's expecting a bumper harvest after he planted an improved variety of the cabbage seeds. I saved a lot of money to ensure I bought high yielding cabbage to plant, about 30,000. For this same piece of land, I would have spent just about 3,000 if I was to pay for the normal seedlings. But I'm not complaining because the yield will be much and I will make a lot of money when I sell. Escalating violence in many parts of Nigeria has forced farmers to relocate, according to the United Nations. It says over 20 million citizens are not able to access food. According to the Nigeria Security Tracker, more than 350 farmers were either kidnapped or killed in the country last year alone. Many farmers have now migrated to urban centers for safety, where there's limited land for farming. Agricultural experts say adopting biotechnology can help the farmers cope and ensure guaranteed yield with limited land and other adverse conditions. This is very, very important because it means that you get better yield. It means that you get uh, better crops uh, within a short period of time. So you're able to cope the issues of time. We know that uh, we have climate issues as it stands where you have the rains that used to last for a very long time now having to last for a very few um, uh, months. So with improved seeds, those seeds will even grow within that period. So that's actually a very, very good uh, thing to key into. Although adopting biotechnology helps with increased yield, it doesn't come cheap and there are concerns over its safety. But agricultural analysts say it is well regulated and they are urging the government to offer farmers incentives to adopt the process. They say the government would have to support farmers with incentives to enable them to engage in improved farming systems. A lot of people tell you that it's not healthy for humans, but you know the, the fact is that we have regulatory bodies that are in the country that regulate these things. We encourage uh, the government to come into this, just like the government uh, provide fertilizers, they could as well provide these seeds for people. They could subsidize those seeds so that people will get those seeds at the cheaper rate and be able to cope the issue of food insecurity because I tell you beyond there's no insecurity that is worse than food insecurity. The government says it's doing all it can to support farmers and boost food production thereby ensuring food sufficiency. President Bola Tinubu has declared a state of emergency on food insecurity and says improved seeds and fertilizers will be released to farmers and households to enhance cultivation of different food crops. He has also committed to improve protection of lives and property, including farmers, and has directed security agencies to end all security concerns in the country. There is still hunger among many citizens in Nigeria, and many farmers who can't afford the use of biotechnological methods look forward to incentives so they can also improve their yield like a ring bala. Kasum Akende, CGTN Jaws.